in the shadowy depths of Earth's ancient oceans, a strange and enigmatic creature once thrived. Tully Monstrum, better known as the Tully Monster, with its peculiar anatomy and mysterious nature, this prehistoric oddity has puzzled scientists since its discovery. Today, we'll dive deep into the world of this bizarre creature, uncovering its discovery, anatomy, evolutionary secrets, and much more. So let's unravel this mystery of the Tully Monster. Our journey begins in the 1950s at the Mason Creek Fossil Beds in Illinois, a treasure trove of prehistoric life forms from the Carboniferous period. Here, amateur fossil hunter Francis Tully unearthed a peculiar fossil that would later bear his name, Tully Monstrum Gregorianum. This fossil was unlike anything scientists have seen before. It wasn't immediately clear if it was a vertebrate or an invertebrate, or even which end was the head. Since its formal description in 1966, this monster has remained one of the most perplexing fossils ever discovered. So what exactly is the Tully monster? Tully monstrum gregorium was an animal of contradictions. Measuring about 10 to 14 inches long, it had a soft, elongated body. Its most striking feature was a long tubular proboscis ending in a claw-like structure with teeth likely used to grab prey. On either side of its head, stalk-like eyes protruded, sitting atop rigid bars. These eyes suggest that Tully Monstrum had a wide field of vision, crucial for spotting predators and prey in the murky waters. Its body was segmented and tapering, with a paddle-like tail that likely helped it navigate its swampy habitat. But what truly confounds researchers is its classification. Is it a vertebrate? Related to modern lampreys, or is it something else entirely? The evolutionary position of Tully Monstrum has sparked endless debate. Some studies suggest it was a primitive vertebrate, perhaps related to lampreys or hagfish. This hypothesis is supported by the presence of an notochord, a structure resembling a backbone, and a cartilaginous skeleton. However, others argue its bizarre anatomy defies typical vertebrate classification. Some researchers have proposed it was an invertebrate with unique adaptations, part of an extinct lineage with no modern relatives. As of today, no consensus has been reached, making Tully Monstrum a true evolutionary enigma. Though small compared to some of its contemporaries, Tully Monstrum was far from insignificant. At an average length of just over a foot, it was well suited for life in the shallow coastal waters of Carboniferous, Illinois. Its size likely made it agile, allowing it to evade larger predators like sharks and eurypterids. Despite its modest stature, Tully Monstrum's unique adaptations gave it an edge in its ecological niche. Tully Monstrum lived around 300 million years ago during the Pennsylvanian subperiod of the Carboniferous era. Its habitat was a shallow, swampy marine environment teeming with life. The creature likely fed on small invertebrates and soft body organisms, using its claw-like appendage to grasp and consume prey. Its stalked eyes suggest a reliance on vision for hunting and avoiding predators, while its flexible paddle-shaped tail provided mobility in the murky waters. Despite these insights, much of its behavior and life history remains speculative, leaving us with more questions than answers. Tully Monstrum is a testament to the diversity and complexity of life on Earth millions of years ago. Its bizarre anatomy and unresolved classification reminds us of how much we still have to learn about our planet's history. Though it vanished long ago, the Tully Monster continues to capture the imagination of scientists and fossil enthusiasts alike. Who knows, maybe future discoveries will finally solve this ancient mystery. Until then, Tully Monstrum remains one of the most fascinating puzzles of the prehistoric world. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the past. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Let us know in the comments what you think the Truly Monster was. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.